tattoo this number uh, into your head until we see uh, a breakdown, a macro breakdown um, of this 305 level on the Qs, there is no macro sell. There's rotation of weakness, absolutely, in names like Facebook, we'll get into the second, in names like Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. So if you watched last night's video, um, you know, market's the same, right? We, we talked about um, how the, the leaders, the old uh, mega cap leaders, the Amazons, the Netflixes of the world, uh, Facebook, again, they're, they're disconnected right now. It's, it's kind of a rinse repeat market. It's beta, very, very weak. They have their big spotty days to the upside and then they kind of lose steam. And then you have everything else that's really, really strong. And the theme kind of continued uh, into today's session. And the, the one thing that I really liked, uh, what I saw today by the bulls, again, they could have easily given up this five-day moving average. Matter of fact, uh, when we talked about at Morning Strategy, that not to say that today would have been kind of the, the line in the sand toward the day. But again, if you believe in the theory like I do, that the five and 10 day moving averages of the two shortest uh, supply and demand zones, depending which way they're going, um, that they, the bulls really needed to defend that level. And they could have easily given it up. There's so much ammunition uh, that the bulls could literally just give up at any given time. But again, you, you gotta tip your hat off uh, till the bull markets, the buy the effing dippers, through all these guys. Because not only did they defend this level, right? They got the washout into the rising 20, but then they reclaimed uh, both the 5 and the 10-day moving average, which was bullish, again, that they got uh, above that uh, 313 level. That was kind of the line in the, line in the sand that we talked about pre-market. And then they reclaimed it towards the end of the day, which is super, super bullish. What I also liked about today, not only did we see continuation of speculation money, but towards the end of the day, the stocks that were really, really lagging, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about the pivots in a second, the zooms of the world, right? Uh, the stocks like Beyond that were just kind of left for dead, they woke up and that's very, very important. And again, not to say they're gonna go on this mega you know, run in the next day or so, but it's actually very, very important that names that were left for dead, it's almost to the theory that we keep on saying, the way the market gets tired, right? The way the buyers get tired on the upside, sellers get tired to the downside. So for example, if you look at beyond today, right? Sellers got tired, again, completely broken chart. Okay, nobody's turning around saying, this is gonna be now the bottom of the range here. This is a double, you know, double bottom on the daily. This thing's gonna go back. Nobody's saying that. I'm just kind of using this as an example of how stocks kind of put in the bottom, sellers got tired. And if you look at the 60 minute view, you could see that, you know, just for a trade, maybe, you know, maybe we'll watch this thing for a trade for tomorrow. If this kind of gets up about this level, again, I'm not saying this thing's gonna go five, seven dollars, but again, listen, can you get a cash flow two, three dollar move tomorrow if this whole channel wakes up? Right, very, very possible. And that's kind of my point. If you look at Zoom also, for example, again, another name uh, that was completely left for dead and there was a really good pivot uh, towards the end of the day. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. But what I like, what I'm seeing is the names that were dead, they woke up, you saw some pretty aggressive uh, call buying towards the end of January. We saw uh, the 390s, right? So the 390 calls being traded. Uh, we also saw 355, 370, 375 weeklies when the stock was trying to confirm that 350 area. And the fact that it closed over 350, borderline 360, again, look, you can see what's, what it's doing now after hours. Again, you can see the potential uh, in Zoom if it confirms today's channel. Again, you could see a move into the 375, 378 area because again, that's the next supply zone. So it's very, very bullish that a lot of names, again, roadkill, nobody wants them. They were last year's players. The, the love is gone. Everything is gone. The momentum's gone. Oh, by the way, the sellers are finally tired and now they're starting to reverse. And if you go through uh, your charts tonight, you're going to see a lot of names that were pretty much the same way. Again, maybe not setting up for tomorrow's session, but at the same time, they're starting to slowly stop the bleeding. And all it takes is some really good institutional money flow to kind of come in the bottom of the range, start taking some speculation money, 
and you're good to go. Another example, like a, like Amazon, right? We talked about uh, potential day two, well, at least potential bottom of the range uh, weakness in Amazon today. Again, we saw the bottom of the range, right? It flushed out pretty aggressively. And again, we'll, we'll talk about uh, the Twitter feed in a second. You know, I, I kind of made a note. If Amazon can start reclaiming, right, remounting that area of, of, of demand that it lost, it could maybe start making a run. And again, that would kind of correlate into what we saw yesterday. Uh, we started seeing aggressive out of the money call buying coming in yesterday as the stock was coming in. And we saw exactly the same thing today. So the market is again, very, very healthy. Uh, if you look at the cues, uh, again, the area of interest for the bulls and the bears from the macro point of view is this 305 level. Again, tattoo this number uh, into your head until we see uh, a breakdown, a macro breakdown um, of this 305 level on the queues, there is no macro sell. There's rotation of weakness, absolutely, in names like Facebook, we'll get into the second. In names like Netflix, we'll get into the second. But again, overall, once you, you know, as long as you are getting really good speculation money moves, and as you see, all the crazy lunatic stocks, again, continue to move today. And again, the value is in other names. The value is also uh, in beat up uh, IPOs that woke up today, like a Dash, for example, right? Like a Dash, and well, again, we'll go through the pivots in a second. Like a Dash, like a Airbnb, who actually does not look bad at all, right? right? Uh, AI might be a day or two away, maybe to kind of join the party as well. But again, you could see the theme playing out. Beat up names, right? And again, it's very, very, tongue, very, very tough to call AI dash and Airbnb beat up names but from the top of their channel. Like obviously, they're again, uh, outperforming their, um, their pricing on the IPOs. But again, from the point of looking from the bottom, right? They got beaten up, the sellers got tired, and now they're starting slowly to make their ways up. So again, a lot of good action in the market. 305 continues to be the line in the sand uh, in the macro environment. Again, beat up names are waking up. And again, all we're doing every single day is looking for either consolidation breaks off the bottom channel, off the middle channel, or names that are second day plays, basically had their big, big move, are resting now two, three days and are resuming uh, the next couple days. And again, if you look uh, at the list uh, from today, again, you can see just a couple ideas for tomorrow. Again, a name like FUBU, right? You know, had the big, big move. Again, sellers got tired somewhere around here, okay? And again, if it starts confirming tomorrow's prices, today's prices tomorrow, again, look how much room you have. But again, this is the theme. Sellers tired and they're coming off the bottom. Even names, for example, like Space, uh, that we had a nice little pivot on Space today off the 26th level. Again, you could see where the value is. Again, stocks coming off the value, eventually sellers get tired and they start taking out macro levels and they start working way up. So again, if you do your homework tonight, if you do your due diligence, if you go through your charts, like again, I always advocate, especially for new traders, go through these levels, you know, go through these charts, two, three, four, 500 charts a day. Again, get your mind going to kind of uh, self, you know, self identify subconsciously where you're looking at value. And again, that's how you rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, uh, everything that's going on. Oh man, as I'm recording this video, I just missed the S O L O. Oh, I just missed this play. I just missed this play. I, I just missed this play. I tweeted out on the private Twitter feed. The $9 break is going now. All right. Hopefully, hopefully you guys caught it. All right. It's okay. So let's talk about, uh, let's talk about uh, some pivots uh, that we uh, had in the room today. Some pretty good value indeed. And let's talk about this. So again, what we talked about last night, we were watching uh, for some weakness in Facebook and Netflix. The Amazon one and Netflix initially, I said, well, if they get a washout, if they reclaim, I actually like them to the long side, but we'll show you some pivots here uh, on Facebook to the downside and later on Netflix to the downside as well. So here's the first one, uh, Facebook on watch, green to red for experienced traders. Note, this is never a pivot. This is just momentum. Uh, 255.90, uh, 255.70 needs to confirm to the downside. Facebook got absolutely murdered, really, really murdered here. You know, so here's the 255.90, just got absolutely killed. I thought it was going to get down to the 249.50s. It got down to 250. Just a beautiful, beautiful move. Congratulations for you guys. Uh, who caught that. Uh, Netflix, initially I was looking for that remount wash, okay, but later there was a pivot to the downside, which I really screwed up, but again, it is what it is. Again, again, you're human. Uh, Amazon did the right thing. This did exactly what I thought. Uh, Amazon, the initial thought last night, and this is kind of what we talked about in the video, was shorting the channel on the break. However, this might be a day away. For experienced trader, and this is exactly what it did uh, a little bit later in the day, it washed out, right? If you guys saw it, it washed out 
uh, got red in the day, went down like 10 or so. I said, watch the 314, 311, 14 watch. Basically, if bulls come back over that level, watch it go red to green, you know, it could really, really snap back. And, you know, the, Amazon did, it, did its job, right? It reclaimed uh, the 3114 level, traded all the way up, you know, all the way up. But, but again, it's not the point that what it did today, okay? It's the point that buyers, again, held the bottom range and sellers got tired. And again, that is the theme hopefully spilling over in, into tomorrow's session. Uh, and this is exactly also what I wanted to see on Tesla. We never got it. What I wanted to see was a washout in the morning to the 799 level. If bulls reclaim, obviously it could snap back. It never got close there, which is a shame because he, as everybody saw what exactly you know Tesla did today. But I was looking, you know, I was looking for that 799 uh, washout uh, into the five day that obviously never got there, and you know had a, Tesla had a really really big move. So. Kind of sucks, but again, you have to have uh, the play. Uh, PLTR never got to that 2670 level. Uh, Surf never got to this 1170 level. Uh, ZS uh, 203 needs to reclaim. 205 is a little bit big macro level. Got an upgrade today. Here was uh, ZS, right? So it took out the 203. Here was the pre market highs of 203 right here took out the 205 macro went almost to 207 i still like it i got upgraded today you, you probably see if the market's still strong you probably see uh, a move back uh, to this 212 level okay uh peix i still like for tomorrow uh snapchat really nice move today uh 55 90 56 needs to build here was snapchat s n a p right uh, so it took out the 50 here. Here's where I got the 5585, right? You see this whole area here, the 5585, 56 area. And a nice move on Snapchat. Uh, went to 5665. It looks like it still uh, has a lot of room to the upside. Looks higher there. Uh, space, nice move on space. 26 needs to build. I still like space. I think space goes higher. Uh, we saw 32. I think we saw Feb uh, 32 calls being traded today. Listen, if this thing reclaims 27, um, I think it continues to go higher. So nice move there on space uh netflix yeah this is where it crashed uh 495 494 if it builds below it can flush like i said in last night's video i i thought in this type of environment uh you can get both sides you, you again you, you could as long as you are identifying weakness you could play with weakness if you're identifying strength again you could have your cake and eat it too uh in this environment so here is the 494 495 it cleared it out and netflix got absolutely destroyed went all the way down to uh, 485. So that's that there. Uh, if you've been watching this broadcast, I'm not a big swinger of stocks anymore, but I do play these SPAC names. If you've been watching this broadcast, this 109011 area has been on watch now for like literally for like a month. Finally, when I started buying some in the 11, excuse me, in the 10, uh, 1080s, it closed at 11. Uh, it's printed up. It's starting to walk up here after hours. I have no idea what kind of SPAC they are. I really don't care this this juncture all i know is these things go and you can see here it started printing the 1150s here after hours who knows you know if this thing starts going who knows maybe we can see 12 13 for this thing fingers crossed uh so that's that there and let's see here let's see here let's see here you know so facebook nice move big washout uh big washout on that 4950s coming up on facebook uh, AMD never got there. I still like the I still like that uh, 99 and a quarter level. NEWR supposedly they they did some sort of integrate. I don't think I think they posted it on either their website or the Snow website. There was some sort of integration PR. Okay, that was uh, talked about. A lot of people started talking about it on social media. Uh, 7755 needs to build. Here is NEWR. If this PR actually comes out, it could be good. Uh, you know. I, I think it needs to reclaim the 78 to go, but I'm definitely still watching it for tomorrow. Uh, Facebook is just getting destroyed, and that is it. So, uh, again, pretty productive day. Uh, also, uh, Jumia. We had a nice little print on Jumia. I forgot. I apologize, guys. I forgot to uh, put it on the Twitter feed. They took out that 40 level. Pretty good call buying. If they start reclaiming today's channel, I still like it for tomorrow. Uh, it could get higher as well. So, guys, have a great night, everybody. I wish everybody with the best, and God's help, I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care.